Hi everyone. In this video, I will show how to use TB6612 FNG motor driver. Also, I will show Arduino code to use this driver. If you're new to this channel then please subscribe and turn on the bell button to get the notification of new videos. Here, we need a TB6612 FNG motor driver module, which is a dual motor driver. It has a peak current capacity of 3.2 amperes and continuous current capacity of 1.2 ampere and the operating voltage is 15 volts. Now, placing the driver on the breadboard. Then, connection as like the circuit diagram. Here, I will provide 5 volt power in the breadboard power rail. So the power rail will be used for 5 volt supply. Here, I'm using a 2 cell lithium ion battery holder to provide around 8 volts in the driver. Connecting the battery positive terminal with the VM pin of the driver. The negative terminal of the battery with the breadboard negative power terminal. Then connecting VCC of driver with breadboard positive terminal which is 5 volt power line. Then connect ground of the driver with breadboard negative terminal. Then making high the PWMA and PWMB pins of the driver by connecting them with the breadboard's positive terminal, which is the 5 volt power rail. Then connecting SDBY pin of the driver with the 5 volt power rail of the breadboard to activate the driver. Then, I'm connecting an indicator LED with the VM pin of the driver through a 220 ohm resistor. Then connecting two motors with the driver's motor terminal. Motor A on the right side, and motor B on the left side. Then connecting two jumper wires with AIN1 and BIN1 pin of driver. These are the signal pins. AIN1 is for controlling motor A, and BIN2 is for controlling motor B. Then providing 5 volt power supply in the breadboard from a trainer board. Then attaching two lithium ion batteries with a battery holder. Now, controlling the motors by providing high and low signals in the AIN1 and BIN1 pins of the driver. This is how we can control the motors. Now, let's see how to use this driver with Arduino. For this we have to connect all the signal pins with Arduino to control with programs. Let's change the connection. Now, coming in the coding. 
First, define the motor A and motor B control pins according to the circuit diagram. Set up motor control pins as output. Then create a rotate motor function. Now, in the values in the rotate motor function works as PWM speed value. Positive value indicates forward direction. And negative value indicates the backward direction of the motors. Then upload the code. Let's see the result. First both motors run in forward with 255 speed for 3 seconds, then again forward with 100 speed for 3 seconds, then backward with 255 speed for 3 seconds.